Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here from The Retro Future. Welcome back to the second channel. Today we're going to be trying to fix this little thing. This is a very small, cute little Seiko TV that I bought. I want to fix this because it doesn't work very well. Let me show you what the current problem is. Um, I bought the whole thing for under £20, so um, I'm really, really excited to hopefully get this thing working because it's a really nice little device. So you plug in whatever device you want to plug into it, and then you turn it on, and uh, it should automatically you know, select the device that you have plugged in. But you'll see that nothing is displaying there. Uh, but when I start fiddling around with this cable, you can actually hear that it is there. So whatever the problem is, we need to fix it because it's not really functional right now. It needs to be something that I can just plug something into and not have to fiddle around with it, especially if in a video, I'm just trying to show something working. Um, so hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have this thing working. Um, so, yeah, it's really damn cool. Um, I'm not sure if maybe there's just some dry solder joints or maybe if one's completely come off. Um, there is obviously a lot of exposed um, areas, you know, where air could get in and potentially crack the joints. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a cool little stand. It unscrews. I can imagine some of these being sold without that because they might have snapped off. Um, so the only two screws I can actually see on this thing uh, are here and here. In fact, that's a lie. There's another one on the antenna. Let's go ahead and remove that. Boom. So there's the antenna removed. That came off pretty easily. So the next screws we're going to remove are the two on the bottom here. And I'm not sure what's going to happen or how we're going to access this. There we go. All right, we're out. You can see the screen here has some sort of stuff on it. I'm wondering if that's going to be able to clean off easily. It looks like it's actually a little bit of fungus, similar to the kind of thing that you'd see in uh, like a, a, a camera lens, you know? Fantastic. Okay, so let's remove this a little bit further. I'm not sure what the next thing to do is. Oh, okay, that just all pulls out like that. Right, so there's a little brick connector down there that I can see, and there's also a ribbon cable. So let's see if we can pull the brick connector out first. Hey, all right, there's the brick connector out. And then for the ribbon cable, there we go. Boom, look at that. So that is our little display. That is really, really cool. Okay, let's set that to the side. And we know that that works fine. So we don't need to touch or tamper with that. So the rest of the device, there's four screws holding this back piece in. So let's go ahead and remove all of those. There we go. Okay, there's those four screws removed. So now, what is next? So we can lift this top piece off and oh, I think we should unplug this brick connector here for the power. There we go. Okay, oh, all right, let's uh, also we need to remove this, which is the uh, controller section. So if we unplug that ribbon cable, and also the one for the speaker, then this whole top piece comes off. Look how beautiful this device is. So there's the speaker, and that's the button uh, PCB, the controller there for the uh, little digital control buttons. So we can set that to the side as well, as we know that all of that stuff works. And now the back should come off, uh, and you can see there how it slides through around the, uh, just through the area for the speaker. Um, and again, we know that all of that works, and it makes a good um, contact. And then finally, here is the actual board itself. So I'm not sure that we're going to need to uh, remove this. But I think it's actually been adhered down. But on a more positive note, we've actually got access to the back of the um, connector there for the AV. So I think I'm going to zoom the camera in, fire up my soldering iron, and reflow all of the solder um, to, into these jacks. And hopefully, again, with some isopropyl alcohol as well, we can even put some IPA just on this 3.5 millimeter jack and just put it in and out a bunch of times. Hopefully, we'll be able to clean it like that. So let's give that a try. 
So these three pins here are specifically for the AV jack, which is right there. So I'm gonna put um, some flux on there and reflow them. But I think I'm just gonna reflow everything along here as well, just to be safe. Um, I haven't got anything that's gonna plug into there or an external antenna um, or the DC jack, but this might as well do it whilst it's open. Um, you can see most of these look all right, but that one there is incredibly dry. Um, so let's just do it anyway. I'm not sure if that's gonna make it work or not, but um, we can just try, we might as well. Okay, so I'm gonna speed through the reassembly of this and uh, get it all back together and then we can try it out and see if it works. So this is as far as I can get this thing to work. So basically it's only working a tiny bit and I can't see the screen properly. Um, it's obviously not working properly and I wouldn't call this a fix at all. Um, clearly the jack needs something else. Whether I've got the wrong AV adapter, I'm not sure. Hopefully you can point that out in the comment section below. Um, but I've got my video in the audio and my audio in the video and I've had to position it in a very, very delicate, gentle way because it's just not working if I push it all the way in. So maybe I've got the wrong adapter. Maybe the jack needs to be replaced completely. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Please help me fix this because I really like it and I want to get it working properly because look at how damn cool it is. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this video. I'm going to uh, go ahead and remove some more scratches on the screen lens. One last thing, I thought I'd come on and show you how the scratch removal is going. I've been polishing it for half an hour or so now and uh, hopefully you can see the screen is far better. It's gonna be really hard to stay focused on the, uh, the screen, the camera's gonna struggle, but yeah, I've removed the majority of the big scratches now, and it looks pretty damn good. Uh, it's definitely shining far more than it was before. Hopefully you've enjoyed, goodbye.